Hello and welcome to my 8th Blender video tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to set up some keyframes. So let's get started by moving over our cube in the negative x axis to about there. And I'm going to change the color of the cube under Shaden. Color. Red. Just so you can see this uh, cube better on the uh, YouTube video. And now I'm going to uh, split my screen here horizontally by going to the edge of my 3D viewport. Right click and split area. And I'm going to change the new, newly uh, created viewport down here by clicking on this icon and changing it to timeline because when you're dealing with animation and keyframes, you're going to need to timeline. So now I'm going to hit I, which is the hotkey on my keyboard to insert a key. And there are quite a few options here. For now, I'm going to use location, rotation, scale. Click on that. Go to frame 20 move over the cube in, a po in the positive x direction over to about there hit I again location rotation scale which will which will um, it will key the location rotation and scale now you can key the location rotation scale or location and rotation but for now I'm going to use this it will um, take longer to bake your animations by doing this but this is a pretty simple animation. So I'm going to go to frame 10. I'm going to move my cube up in the Z direction and hit I, insert key, location, rotation, scale again. And the cube will start from the ground, go up to the air, and hit the ground again. And I'm going to change the, the um, size of the cube by hitting S, scaling it down, hit I, location, rotation, scale. This keyframe will only capture the scale. I could use the scale only, but for now I'm going to use this. Key the frame with the uh, location, rotation, and scale. And you'll notice from frame 0 to frame 10 the cube enlarges. So I'm going to make the cube larger at frame 20, scale it up, hit I, location, rotation, scale. Now the cube will go from small to big, and the start and end um, options here are what keys to play your animation from the start and what keys to end your animation at and then it will loop from start to end so I'm going to change my end to about 21 so now I'm going to hit play after hitting rewind hit play and it will loop the animation and you can tell there the cube is moving and that's going to conclude this lesson thanks for watching